Hello you all, welcome to the channel. It's uh, Rad from Radko Tarot and in this whole video we are going to check uh, the weekly general tarot reading for your star sign for the week 11th to 17th of uh, January 2021. And in case you are interested in a personal reading with me, you can check out the description down below and there you're going to find a, uh, a link to my website from which very front page you can see the full list of my services and as well their pricing. Also keep in mind that the content for YouTube and Facebook, they are uh, separate, they are exclusive to one another. While in YouTube you can find um, your weekly general tarot readings. In Facebook you are going to find astrology posts performed by the Pisces Moonbeam, which is an exceptional astrologer that works with me. And as well you can catch me live and have your daily tarot readings. So with that being said, enjoy the show. Right, so we do have Scorpio Sun, Scorpio Moon and uh, Scorpio Rising on our hands, guys. And just give me a, a couple of seconds to shuffle the cards and we're going to jump right into it. Right, so the first card we do have here at the start of the week, that is going to be the Queen of Wands, followed by the Hierophant. Moving next, we do have the Star card. Afterwards, it is going to be the Queen of Cups. And uh, the last one, that will be the Five of Wands. All right, so it's a quite of an interesting week for us, Scorpio. So at the start of the week, what we do have that is an, an individual that we may know, or it could be a brand new individual here. And uh, to me, that mostly speaks about some kind of a, um, how can I say, um, an, an interaction in a sense of that this individual for us, well, it, it looks more like a business partnership to, uh, to say, straight away off the top of my mind because with the queen of wands when it comes to relationships guys that is a person who everybody wants to be with okay that is a person who very well knows how to manipulate the situation and, and pretty much how to make use of anybody's interests um are they faithful they are for as long as you are interesting to them but it's as we don't have any watery card afterwards to kind of like extinguish that uh, impulse of the Queen of Wands afterwards, I would say that it will be best if we as a Scorpio, should we involve ourselves romantically with this person, at least to, have, to, to take it with a grain of salt that they can walk away afterwards. But as a business partnership here with the Queen of Wands, it's, it's an amazing one, right? Because the Queen of Wands has a, a very astute business sense, okay? And that person, that individual pretty much knows always where the wind is blowing from. So if that's your business uh, counselor, advisor or a manager, uh, you can expect that at the start of the week, Scorpio, that they're either going to come up with a, a very good business plan, strategy, something like that, that is going to make you rather successful or is going to pretty much um, reap a success in regards to the strategy or the business plan. How this is going to play out? Well, uh, is it going to be a relationship or not? Unfortunately, we don't have previous cards, so we can say, all right? <clears throat> but whichever way develop, I, I gave you the two possible options in the major field, either in terms of career or a, either in terms of relationship uh, as well. And afterwards, we do have the Hierophant. So based on that interaction, the Hierophant is going to, well, it depends again on what the interaction is going to be really, but the Hierophant is going to make us think into what is normal for us to go by with moving forward, all right? The Hierophant here, to me, it speaks about two things in terms of Scorpio. It speaks about uh, either we are going to realize what the true meaning of love is, okay? And that is going to give us an, an answer. Do we want to be with the Queen of Wands or not? Or the Hierophant, 
is going to give us a, an answer what truly is to be successful in terms of, uh, term of career or in terms of friendship as well. And uh, there, our concern, uh, I'm talking now about career development, our concern in terms of fast money is going to vaporize because uh, here with the acute business sense of the Queen of Wands, we will know that whatever plan of development that the individual presented to us, it's simply going to, it, it's doomed to succeed, right? And uh, just because we can't make money right now, right off the back, uh, it's, it's not a, a criteria that we should cut off that particular plan. But again, it's, it does depend how the Queen of Wands develop for us, either intimately or either business-wise. Business -wise. If it is a friendship, we're just going to have a very, very good time with somebody. And afterwards, with the Hierophant card, we will kind of like realize that that kind of a life, it's not entirely for us. Okay, And this is where the subject of the Queen of Wands ends. Because after that, we do have the star card. And the star card points that towards the middle of the week, our focus completely shifts from the uh, diversion, if I may say it that way here, that the Queen of Wands poses into one specific narrative into the entirety of our life. Now, the star card, it could uh, speak for a, how can I say, well, it could speak for many things, but in generally represents the end of an era of a turmoil, all right? So whatever difficulties we do had, these difficulties are going to simply end. So we are not going to keep up struggling in terms of, for example, finances, in terms of, for example, uh, love as well, because the star card here may speak about unfolding love. Well, for those who are who love is an issue, well, that's what the star card pretty much speaks about. Uh, it speaks about fulfilling as well criteria and standards in terms of, um, term of career. So things, we can start expecting that things into our career are going to fall into its places and we're going to find it a niche here that we are going to stabilize our business, stabilize as well our uh, working place also, or it could speak about an idea how to establish a business that is going to be successful. It is just this card gives us something to look forward to, all right? Something a long lasting. So if it is about an unfolding love, that is going to be an unfolding lasting love, right? Uh, if it is about a business that will be well lasting or, or long time lasting business, maybe for a lifetime as well. The thing with the star card, it is that we're going to have a hope for our future. I mean, we're uh, uh, towards Towards the middle of the next week, we will know what we are fighting for as a Scorpio. I'm saying we because I'm a Scorpio as well. We're going to know what, what we are fighting for, what is the price out there, and we're going to see that this price definitely worth it and it gives meaning and sense to our life as well. And in generally, a, we, we are going to look at the future that it is ahead of us from the bright side for there are no, there, there ain't going to be any dark side of it. Uh, looking at the star card. And right after we set our glaze uh, towards the, uh, the future there and see how beautiful the future is, this is where the Queen of Cups comes about and that is a, a very good friend of ours here that we can share our ambitions with, that we can share our thoughts with, that we can share our, uh, how can I say, our emotions with as well, being rest assured that these very intimate informations about, for example, our new love that we do have here, about, for example, our new idea, about, for example, our new project, our new job as well, they are going to be sound and safe. For the Queen of Cups, it is that faithful companion, that good friend, our mother, for example, that only wishes to see us prevailing, only wishes to see us uh, succeeding, uh, succeeding or being successful, okay? Only wishes as well to feel good and to feel happy. That is a person that we can always find solace at. That is a person that we can, that is always going to offer us a shoulder to cry on. That is somebody that always is ready to give us an, an emotional support. And with that particular emotional support, we are going to feel 
one idea uh, more confident into conquering the future that the star card here is promising to us. And towards the end of the week, we do dive into a very big dynamic. So <clears throat> five of ones here points that towards the end of the week, we're going to have quite a few things on our hands here to uh, not only to tackle with, but as well to juggle with. Uh, not all of them are going to be in a very, very good shape, okay? Uh, but the Five of Wands is also a card of many surprises, many turnarounds as well, and in generally many ways how we can do certain things. Uh, that's why it's very important while we are dived into the dynamic of the week itself and we are always keeping up... Um, keeping up with the, with the motion of the dynamic itself to maintain our calmness and not to freak out about the situation in general, the situations in general, because they're going to, going to be more than one, uh, and not to freak out if we cannot, for example, get through to certain individuals and to certain people, or God forbid, if we do see something of ours deteriorating, like for example, certain relationship, or like for, like for example, you know, certain plan, because with the five of ones, like I said, they're going to, they're going to be many surprises, and many around turns and thus towards the end of the week we can definitely salvage whatever situation we are losing control over because with the five of wands is one of the best cards where you transform failure into success so if you do want to give a final push into something before you bail out before you give up on it towards the end of this week towards the end of 17th uh, of January is going to be the best time that we, you, we guys are doing it. But beforehand, uh, it seems this interaction with the Queen of Wands don't give it way too much of a, uh, how can I say, of an importance because it may not be a mandatory here. It may not be something significant. What happens significantly to us, it's towards the mid of the week itself. And uh, there we are, like I said, we'll see the full scale of the prize that we are after. So that being said, Scorpio, this was our uh, weekly tarot reading. Hopefully you have enjoyed it and you have liked it, guys, and you did like it, guys, and uh, we are to see each other next time. Until then, bye.